Greetings from the Center for International Development at Ball State University. My name is Hannah Delagardel. And my name is Husa Salimovic. We are project coordinators at the Center for International Development, and we're also administrative directors of the Pan-Africa Youth Leadership Program. We would like to welcome you to our PALEP Homestay Orientation video. The video will discuss various aspects of the program, including the homestay matching process, the program itinerary, what to avoid, frequently asked questions from previous host families. So we hope that it will be informational for you as you prepare for two weeks with the participant. We'll start our session now. The main components of this presentation include the matching process, important documents that each family will receive, daily schedule overview for the students, general expectations for the families and individuals hosting, fun activities with your participants that are both free and cost effective, what to avoid, and lastly, frequently asked questions. The matching process includes both the host family and payload participant applications. We try our best to prioritize the preferences between both parties. For example, pets, allergies, and gender preferences are major considerations. We then review the interests and hobbies. And finally, we always strive for similarities in career aspirations, education goals, and experiences. The participant has also written a letter introducing themselves in further detail. You'll receive all of this information after the process has been made. Important documents that you will receive in the homestay folder and personal email include the medical information sheet that lists allergies, prescribed medications, and medical history reports, participants' homestay application as reviewed in the previous slide, copy of participants' passport, program schedule for daily activities including drop-off and pickup times, Ball State staff contact information in case of emergencies or any general questions will be available 24-7. Health insurance cards. However, you are not responsible for a $25 copay for office visits or a $75 copay for emergency rooms. These are to be covered by students. The schedule has a few important dates to keep in mind. On October 7th, you'll pick up the student at 8.30 p.m. in the Student Center. October 10th through 11th is the first weekend with your participants and the activities are up to you. October 12th is a community day with the Muncie Mayor, Dennis Tyler, and pizza will be shared that evening. October 15th is a dinner only for the adult mentors and we will pick up the mentors from their home. Saturday, October 17th is a day trip to Indianapolis and you are always welcome to join us. October 18th is the last day for homestay activities. October 19th is a farewell dinner at the Alumni Center. It'll be here before you know it. And lastly, Tuesday, October 20th, we'll depart from the Student Center at 12 o'clock for Chicago, Illinois. Some general expectations include that you meet your guest on the evening of October 7th in the Ball State Student Center, Cardinal Hall C, second floor between 8.30 and 9.30 p.m. You're expected to provide a daily breakfast and dinner for your guest Monday through Friday. Lunch will be provided by Ball State University. You're also required to provide transportation to and from the Ball State Student Center. Drop-off times will be between 7.30 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. Pickup times will be between 5 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. More specifically, the drop-off and pickup location will be on the west side of the Student Center along the Tally Road. Lastly, we urge you to maintain communication with Ball State staff regarding any transportation issues or emergencies. Here is just a short list of fun activities that you can do with your participant. Some of the free activities to do around Muncie include visiting a grocery store or the farmer's market to plan a meal together, share your favorite music, art, and movies, attend a Ball State women's soccer game, or ride bikes along the Cardinal Greenway, you can also visit the greenhouse on campus or play frisbee golf at McCulloch Park in downtown Muncie. Some small cost-effective activities include going to a pumpkin patch and carving out pumpkin faces or visiting an apple orchard or corn maze. You can also shop at the local thrift stores for unique gifts for their home families or for each other. Go to a bowling alley or a mini golf course. Picnic at the Prairie Creek Reservoir, which is only 20 minutes from Muncie or hike and take pictures at a nearby state park. Few things to avoid. Please do not feel pressure to buy any gifts, electronics, medications, or other personal items 
This is solely to be decided by you and your family. Limit time used on the internet or cell phone. Avoid cold food and ice drinks since this can affect their immune system. They're not used to these things. Minimize the intake of sugar and sweets as it can also upset their stomach. Lastly, communicate any problem with the CID staff for assistance. Previous host families have asked these specific questions, including, should I do their laundry? Many of the participants usually hand wash their clothes in their home countries. However, laundry services or using your own personal washer and dryer might be needed to save time while they're here. Another question is, should I set house rules or guidelines? Be clear about the internet, kitchen and bathroom usages, and bed and breakfast times. You don't want any miscommunication regarding these specific topics. What if I do not speak French? Many of our host families do not speak French for the third cohort, but that's okay. Translation phone applications or cheat sheets are helpful. We will include one in your home stay folder to help you get started, but there's many resources online and in books that you can refer to. Lastly, mine and Hannah's contact information can be found on this slide. Please feel free to contact us with any questions or concerns prior to the participants' arrival, during their stay in Muncie, and after their departure back to Africa. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Feel free to contact us via email, cell phone, or even stopping by the CID office. Once again, Thank you for opening your homes for these future leaders of Africa. We're looking forward to working with you for the next three weeks. Thank you. Thank you.